good morning dear students today we will start the revision of chapter 5 combustion and fossil fuels okay you have studied about the changes those are taking place in nature reversible irreversible chemical or physical or we know the oxygen supports burning or fire but carbon dioxide being the heavier than the oxygen it does not support burning okay so let's start see this figure which of the given option you will pick to control the fire to put out the fire okay which can you will you will prefer obviously two out of these can be preferred easily second one light red color red color fire extinguishers is shown over there as well as a bucket with water others will do others will do and first you can also select for the same to control the fire others will do the fire to take place more because oxygen supports kerosene is also uh, highly uh, flammable okay hydrogen is also in the same category so let's discuss something about combustion in this particular chapter we will study about combustion and its type flame fuel and its type ideal fuel and fossil fuels okay let's start combustion combustion the process of burning of a substance in the presence of air or oxygen with the evolution of heat and light is called combustion okay got it koi bhi substance jab air or oxygen ki presence me air or oxygen ki presence me burning uske andar hota hai तब हम उसको कहते हैं कि वो कंबशन उसके अंदर हो रहा है और उस बर्निंग के रिजल्ट की वजह से क्या होना चाहिए हीट और लाइट भी प्रोड्यूस होती है ओके देन दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड और दैट मैकेनिज्म इज कॉल्ड कंबशन ओके और जो सब्सटेंस बर्न होता है उसको हम कंबस्टिबल सब्सटेंस कहेंगे एग्जांपल्स आर वुल वुड वुड coal petrol <coughs> lpg liquefied petroleum gas okay are examples of combustible substances okay and rest of the substance those do not burn in the presence of oxygen or air they are known as non combustible substances water cement sand are some examples of non combustible substances okay any substance will catch fire only it attains its ignition temperature ignition temperature is the minimum temperature required for an object to catch fire is called its ignition temperature and gets sufficient supply of oxygen or air okay so are you i think you are uh, you have no doubt related to the process of combustion and the combustible substances and non combustible substances okay now the types of combustion we will start different types of combustions will be there depending upon depending upon the time they will take depending upon the amount of heat they will generate so they are divided into three different types rapid combustion spontaneous combustion and explosion okay rapid combustion spontaneous combustion and explosion okay rapid combustion the combustion in which a substance burns very fast okay and external heat provided to produce large amount of heat and flame is known as rapid combustion got it 
transported for example natural gas natural gas is cng compressed natural gas lpg liquefied petroleum gas and petrol they all are having very low ignition temperature okay that's why they came in the category of rapid combustible substances spontaneous combustion or continuous combustion the combustion in which a substance burns quickly without any external heat to produce large amount of without any external heat to produce large amount of heat and flame is known as spontaneous combustion all substances that undergo spontaneous combustion such as phosphorus and coal phosphorus and coal dust in mines okay they have very low ignition temperature and they will continue to produce heat okay and the third type of combustion is explosive combustion okay that is explosive bombs and crackers crackers especially used on the occasion of festivals as well as on marriages other functions also the combustions which produce large amount of heat sound also okay when they will burst they will produce sound and gas is released they are in the category of explosive explosion combustion okay and combustion can also be categorized into complete or incomplete depending upon the extent of heat extent of air supply available for the combustion complete combustion what do you understand by complete combustion it is combustion that takes place in adequate amount of oxygen or air is called complete combustion water carbon dioxide heat and light are the main products obtained during complete combustion got it next type of combustion is on the basis of on the basis of supply of air available it is incomplete combustion adh jala aadha jala hua not completely burnt okay the combustion that takes place in in inadequate means lesser amount of air or insufficient amount of air of oxygen is called incomplete combustion soot water carbon monoxide heat and light are the products of obtained after incomplete combustion got it okay you can see in the activity also so i'm not going uh, to discuss this activity you will just have a reading of this activity let's move further what now the question in three marks can be asked from you what are the necessary conditions for the combustion process to take place okay the necessary conditions of combustions are as follows the presence of combustible substance if a fuel or substance will not be available then the process of combustion will not take place so the presence is mandatory second thing is presence of supporter of combustion okay supporter of combustion means if the availability of oxygen or air will not be there then the substance combustible substance alone will not be able to produce combustion got it so the next is attainment of ignition temperature achieving of ignition temperature the temperature for combustion must be achieved only and only then the subs there is a process of combustion will take place so these are three necessary conditions for the combustion process to take place okay the substances with very low ignition temperature are called flammable substance flammable or inflammable substances okay petrol diesel kerosene and cng are few examples of flammable substances substances with high ignition temperature are called 
नॉन फ्लेमेबल ओके ग्लास एंड सेंड आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉन फ्लेमेबल सब्सटेंसेस गॉट इट डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द थ्री कंडीशंस फॉर द कंबशन टू टेक प्लेस आर फर्स्ट इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ कंबस्टिबल सब्सटेंस सेकंड इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन और थर्ड इज इग्निशियन टेम्परेचर गॉट इट सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर you can see another activity you can try at your home also but in the presence of in the presence of your parents only okay to study the ignition temperature okay if you will pick a paper and make a cup of the paper then and if you put the paper on the flame of a candle then the paper will burn definitely but if you will try to do the same by putting some water in that the water will starts heating but the paper will not burn because the paper will not be able to attain its ignition temperature got it dear students i hope you will be understanding understanding whatever i am uh, sharing with you next thing very common or very e interesting activity at your home you can also do this is okay you can uh, to show the oxygen or air is necessary for the combustion to take place take a candle light up the candle and uh, allow the candle to burn for some time and put a glass transparent glass over it what you will see you will see the candle will candle will glow for some time and after that what happens it will be blown off and this uh, candle will continue to blow until or unless the presence of presence of oxygen was there as soon as the oxygen consumed then the candle will blow off which proves that which proves that the oxygen is necessary for the process of combustion to take place okay now let's move to uh, another topic that is flame flame the visible gaseous part of a fire is called flame it is the region where combustion of fuel takes place you can see in the first pic also blue flame of a gas stove flame of a candle flame of a kerosene lamp okay got it okay dear students you can see the flame of different colors will be produced by different substances depending upon the com type of combustion taking place in different parts okay as well as the availability of oxygen nature of the substance and temperature the flame can be of different colors so the parameters uh, on which the flame will depend it will be supply of oxygen nature of substance and the temperature a flame can be different flame can be of different colors <coughs> flame of different colors produced by various substances as shown in the figure you can see now we have seen the candle uh, specially light up by us on the occasions of festivals and we will study about the flame of the uh, different parts of the flame of a candle three zones are there one is outer zone it will be the hottest zone other will be the middle zone and next one will be the innermost zone least hot zone that will be over there okay you can see due to the incomplete combustion the temperature of the flame is usually lower than that of a blue flame this flame leaves behind black soot along with other residues the flame is called luminous flame so as it produces light okay but in other substances if there is a uh, no flame or flame with yellowish color as it leaves no residues and it is known as non luminous flame 
or it emits very little light because the amount of light liberated will be less so that's why it is called non luminous flame okay and now we will discuss the diff different zones of a candle flame innermost zone middle zone and the outer zone innermost zone the zone near the wick of a candle is called the innermost zone of the flame this zone is black and has unburnt wax uh, is the least hot zone got it if someone will ask from you which one of the zone of a candle flame is the least hot it is it will be the innermost zone okay now the middle zone okay the zone in the middle of the flame will be known as middle zone this zone is yellowish in color and moderately hot as wax vapors burns partially this zone is luminous zone because the partial combustion of carbon produces glow if we keep a glass rod in the middle zone the unburnt the unburnt carbon particles get deposited on it and the glass rod turns black the incomplete combustion is because of the wax vapor does not get enough oxygen for complete combustion and the last zone is the outer zone okay the outer zone of the flame shows complete combustion of wax vapor it is of bluish color okay as the fuel get completely burned off the availability due to the availability of oxygen so the interesting interesting thing about this zone is it is the hottest zone of the flame got it okay let's uh, fill out the fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks are first is a supporter of combustion we all know oxygen is a supporter of combustion second is minimum temperature required for a substance to burn is called its ignition temperature okay next is the combustion that produce huge amount of heat sound and light is called explosion okay got it now the substances that catch fire easily are called are called combustible substances and the last is yellow flame is also called luminous flame got it dear students in first we will fill we will fill first in, in the first fill in the blank oxygen in second ignition temperature ignition word we will fill out over there third it is explosion in fourth one we will fill out we will fill out what combustible and in the last one we will fill out luminous flame okay dear students so in tomorrow's class we will study about tomorrow's class we will study about fuels and their types as well as fossil fuels calorific values and other terms so today we discussed about the combustion different types of combustions conditions for combustions and flame and its types and parts of a candle flame okay dear students thank you so much take care bye